Hey, what is up there, Phoenix Suns fans? My name is Alex, the page is Planet Orange, and today I'm gonna to be talking about Kelly Oubre and his recent news of his injury. All right, so the injury itself is not recent, as you guys know. Um, he had this problem before the COVID-19 had become a real big problem before the season ended. He wasn't playing, and it was already kind of slim if he was gonna play out the rest of the regular season, if it all played out normally. We thought hopefully with the time that we've been taking off that he would be fully healthy and obviously he's posted some videos and he's walking around and he's doing stuff but obviously you know he just he wasn't clear something's not right there he's not 100 percent, even if he's 90 80 percent and to be honest guys as a suns fan me personally like i showed you guys a diagram before the sun's chances to make the playoffs is already super duper slim look at his hair it's annoying it's already super slim um the suns would have to go seven and one eight and oh and really hope the other teams just flop I'm not saying there's no hope now. I'm not saying there was no hope then. It's just, it was going to be really hard. And do we want to hurt Kelly even more so? You know, like, what if he what if he really is just 80, 90%? Maybe that sounds good to you guys, but what if that's a super, like, serious problem? He goes out there in whatever game out of the eight hurts himself, and he's out all next year. Can we afford to lose Kelly all next year? It's stuff we got to think about. Um, personally, it sucks, but and there's people calling him soft. And, like, he, that's not the case. I know, like, I don't know Kelly personally, but I got a really great feeling that he's super competitive, right? Heart and soul of the Suns for the most part. Like he just, he brings all the energy. You know when he's in the building. This man, if he could play, he would be there playing. There's no way he's not gonna play if he just didn't feel like playing or he's kind of, you know, bitching out, so to say, like some people were saying. Um, he's just injured guys and this is what happens. We're, you know, it's gonna be fun to watch the rest of these eight games when it starts up. The Suns making the playoffs, winning the championship, doing all this. We know that the Suns aren't gonna win the championship, right? Suns making the playoffs and maybe doing something with Kelly around. Yes, absolutely. You know, beating the Lakers in a game or two, that'd be awesome. That'd be just, that'd be crazy even to be in the playoffs. As Suns fans, we haven't been there since 2010. It would have been awesome. But I'm really looking forward to next year. Now, there's not a whole lot of good out of this news of Kelly Uber's injury, but I'm going to try to lighten, brighten the mood a little bit. So bear with me. All right, so with Kelly being out, no doubt Mikhail and Cam Johnson, I'm going to say Cam Bridge as well, Cam Johnson are going to have a much bigger role, right? In this eight-game span, I expect the Suns to be competitive, to fight like, you know, I mean, they're in the run for a playoff spot. That's why they're one of the 22 teams that were chosen. So I expect the Suns to fight like hell. Cam Johnson, Mikhail Bridges, I expect them to light it up. I want to see what they do with more time on their hands. And, and it's just growth. You know, and a lot of people recently talking about Jalen LeCue. That's someone who I feel like, I don't want to waste his talent in the G League. I know the Suns want to develop him. I don't know how to develop a basketball player. I'm not going to pretend like I know what the secret recipe is because I don't. But Jalen LeCue in this eight-game span, we got to put him in the midst of this because he's got a lot of talent. He's got a lot of bounce and a lot of potential. I want to see it, you know, come to fruition. But with Kelly being out, this is stuff we have to look forward to because Kelly is a big piece that it's going to hurt missing. But we have talented guys who can come in, fill that spot, and I'm, I'm hoping to see some kind of big strides in these eight games and especially next season, what we're really going to be getting ready for. I don't want to dive into that fully on what we need to do to get ready because that's not the point of this video. The point of it was Kelly Oubre, how it's affecting the team. And uh, obviously, guys, it, it just sucks. It sucks. But, uh, you know, praying for Kelly, wishing the man the best because I know it's hurting him not being able to play even more so than it's hurting us not being able to watch him play. This is his job. It's his passion. It's what he loves to do. Of course, it's hurting him not being able to play and be out there with his guys. So, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. You know, just looking forward to watching can play a lot you know uh mikhail and then hopefully jim lecue gets minutes man they got to give my man minutes because what other better time to develop him than like in a mini playoff type atmosphere for eight games well i guess not atmosphere right because there's no fans but you get the gist you get the gist but that's it for today guys hope you guys like the video um wanted to mention remind you guys devin booker's shoe i'm going to be revealing on sunday it is his shoe from the stadium i released a little db logo on it Super excited to show you guys. I mean, I got all the shoes like right here and I'm just kind of like looking at them. It's just, it's ridiculous. I love them. But uh, just want to remind you guys, Sunday, second episode's coming out. Um, but yeah, guys, that's it, man. Go Suns.